Hello everyone. Welcome to the Digital Skilling Preparation course. Today we are going to see some of the important features of MS PowerPoint. We can add pictures, videos, audio, charts, tables and page numbers in your presentation to make it more presentable. Let's see the detailed process of each topic today. Let's start with adding pictures to our presentation. In this presentation, I'd like to add some pictures to make my slides look a little more interesting. It's easy to insert a picture using the placeholders on your slides. All you have to do is click this picture icon here and insert the picture. Another way to add an image is to click the insert tab and select pictures from this device option. If I already know what picture I want to use for the slide and I have it saved in my computer, then I can use this option. There is another option to add pictures from online. Click the online pictures and from here you can search the web for photos. You can also get some archived pictures from any of the below mentioned topics. When you click on it, you will get a variety of pictures. Click on insert. You can also change the size of an image. All you have to do is to click and drag it. You can always use the ones in the corner to make sure your image stays in proportion. You can also use the rotate handle at the top to rotate it. Now let's see how we can use a screenshot. A screenshot is an image of whatever is currently displayed on your screen. For example, I would like to have a screenshot of the NPTEL website in the presentation. For example, I would like to have a screenshot of the NPTEL website in the presentation. So go back to the PowerPoint and then click on insert. And then choose screenshot. Choose the windows where you want to take the screenshot. I am choosing this window. And now we have the picture of the website on the slide. You can select screen clipping to use only a certain part from the website in your presentation. This will capture part of the page instead of the entire window. These are the ways you can add pictures to your presentation. Let's move on to the next topic that is inserting videos in your presentation. If you want to have a video that you want to play during your presentation, go to the insert tab and look for the video option on the right side of the ribbon. From here, you can choose insert a video from the web or one that is saved in your computer in the same way we saw in pictures. Now, I'm uploading a video which is already saved on my computer by selecting the this device option. As you can see, the video is inserted. Just like pictures, video can be moved and resized. To preview the video, click the play button here. You can also trim the inserted video. To do that, go to the playback tab and select the trim video option. Look for the little green and red marks inside the dialog box. You can click and drag these to change the start and end time. When you are done, click OK and the video will be trimmed. 
You can also add bookmarks to the video which you can use to jump to specific points during presentation. All you have to do is click on the timeline to mark the point you want to use and then click add bookmark. and the little circle will appear. You can create as many bookmarks as you want. Now, you can just click each bookmark when you want to jump to that part of the video. By default, when you are giving your presentation, you have to click on the video in order to make it play. Go to the video options group and choose automatically from the start menu. You can also set the video to play full screen. Next, let's see how we can make some changes to the appearance of the video. We can do that by switching over to Format tab. These options are very similar to what you get when you insert a picture in a PowerPoint. For example, watch how easy it is to apply a different video style when you can add a border and other effects to the video. This is how we can add video to our presentation. Now let's talk about adding audio. In this presentation, I want to add some audio. For this, I have to start by going to the insert tab, there you will find the audio option next to the video option. Here you can insert audio from a file or you can record on your own. PowerPoint is compatible with several different audio formats. Now I am adding audio from my computer. You can easily move the audio if you need to. We can find some of the options on the playback tab. You can trim the audio and add bookmarks in the audio in the same way we just saw in adding the video topic. You can make some changes to the appearance of the audio icon. We can do that by switching over to the audio format tab. To get started, click the change picture icon and you can choose any image from any of the usual sources including files saved in your computer or do an image search on the web. You can also change it to start automatically as soon as you get to the slide. For this, go to the playback tool and choose automatically from the start option. This is how we can add audio files to your presentation. Now let's move on to adding charts. In this video, we are going to take a look at some of the different types of charts and also some ways that you can customize them to best represent your data. Pie charts are unique because they let you see your charts in proportion instead of a graph. We also have a bar chart which is basically just a column chart turned on its side. And finally, area charts which are similar to line charts except the areas under the lines are filled in. To create a chart, go to the Insert tab and then click the chart. A list of choices will appear. When you open any chart of your choice, and click OK, PowerPoint will open a spreadsheet similar to what you will find in Excel where you can start entering your data. All you have to do is type your information over the placeholder, text and PowerPoint will update the chart in your presentation. You can also copy and paste the data from an existing worksheet in Excel. This option is also available. The PowerPoint will update the chart automatically when you are done. Click here to close the spreadsheet window. You can also give your chart a title if you want. To go back to the chart and 
make any changes or corrections, right click to find the edit data option or find the edit option here in the design tab and the spreadsheet window will open again. You can change the color of the chart by changing color options as you see here. You can also change the chart type at any time you want by selecting the change chart type and selecting the chart type you want. And click on OK. Charts are a great way for presenting numerical data in PowerPoint. Let's move on to the next topic, Tables. You can create a table instead of entering your text in lines or paragraphs. To create a table, go to the Insert tab. Click the Table option and move over the grid to select the number of cells you want. For example, I am creating a 6x6 table. You might need to move your table to get in the right place on the slide. To move your table, just place your cursor on the edge, click and drag and then let go. Now we can enter some text inside the cells. All you have to do is click the cell you want and then go ahead start typing. You can also use the tab key or the arrow keys to navigate between the cells. Adding more columns and rows to a table is easy. You can keep the cursor inside the table wherever you want to add a new row or column and go to the layout tab. Then you can find insert a row above or below. Your current position or column to the left or right options in the rows and columns group. You can also delete a row or column by selecting delete icon next to it and selecting a row or column or table itself. If you want to combine any two cells, you can select merge cells. You can select merge cells option from layout tab. You could add some colors and borders to this table. We can do that using the options on the design tab. You can select any color you want and the changes will reflect in the table. You can add borders to your table by going to the design tab and selecting the borders style and border weight from the border group. As you can see, there are a lot of ways to use and customize tables in PowerPoints. Tables can make your data easier to understand. Now, let's move on to the last topic, slide numbers. Slide number is an essential part for most of the presentations. To add a slide number to your presentation, go to insert and select the header and footer from the text group. A dialog box will open. You have to select the slide number checkbox option in it and select apply to all. By adding the slide number this way, you cannot format it. To change the size or change the font color of the slide number, you can do it using the slide master option. Go to the view tab and select slide master option from the master view group. Now you can create a master slide. You can edit the page number in the first page of the slide master. For example, I am increasing the size of the slide number and changing the font color and making it bold. 
Using this slide master, we can make the format of the page numbers replicate in all the slides of the presentation. Now close the slide master view by clicking on close master view from the slide master tab. You can see the slide number which we formatted in slide master is appearing here also. Even when we create a new slide, we are able to see the formatted number. This is how you can add page numbers to your presentation. Hope you have understood all the topics that were covered today. Thank you.